So today, <laughs> we got something a little different we're going to try, and we're going to have to do this in two parts. Um, I want to talk a little bit about bottle aging, because it's it seems to be a new thing coming up. Uh, a lot of people have been doing it for a while now, and uh, we've tried it in different ways, so it took me a while to figure out the ratio I like for the flavors. So, we're trying it. First of all, you need a quality moonshine because if you got a cheap moonshine that doesn't taste good, it's not going to taste good when it's whiskey. So we chose the Old Smoky. Now this is their original blend and it's 50% alcohol by volume or 100 proof. Now, with bottle aging, it doesn't take away any of the alcohol by volume. But what it does do, it turns a inexpensive moonshine into a more expensive whiskey. <laughs> so. With that in mind, I'm cheap. <laughs> so, if I can get away with buying a less expensive quality product and aging it myself, hence the idea. So, what we did is I made this aging stick <laughs> right here. Now, we're gonna start making these pretty soon, um, but we made a bunch of prototypes and we're gonna test it out. Now, with this here, I wanted to get to highlight the cherry, the toasted oak, and um, the vanilla. Now, the way I did this is to enhance the flavors of the moonshine. Um, so it took me a while to figure out the ratios, how long you, you toast it, how much char goes into it for 750 milliliters. And most of the moonshines are 750 milliliters. So we're gonna try it like that so what i'm gonna do is every week we're gonna put it up here in every video i do because i do a video once every friday we missed last friday but <laughs> i was dead tired from work so uh work does get 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 in the way sometimes um but we're gonna try this out it's super simple and all you do is open it up and put it in there but See, I, I like flavors in my whiskey. And this should change everything within about six weeks because the ratio from wood to the alcohol. So within six weeks, this should be from a quality moonshine to a whiskey in about six weeks. So the char is for the color and for a little bit of the flavor. But the toasting that we do at a certain temperature gives the flavors. So the flavors, I like I said, I'm choosing is the cherry, the toasted oak, and the vanilla. Because that's the flavors I like in a whiskey. So what do you think, baby? Baby, I have no thoughts. This is, <laughs> this is your thing. So the wife's really enthused, as you could tell. Um, but that's what I like to do. I, I've tasted many whiskeys. I've tasted many liquors. Um, and I wanted something that I could do because I've seen the spirals. I've seen the other gimmicks they have and it's, they're all complex. Why? It's oak and char and toast. Pretty simple. Why make it all complicated? And I'm not going over to China to have them do it for me. <laughs> so I'm doing them at home. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to pop this open. And that's all you do. Now, <laughs> that's going to sit just like that for about six weeks. So like I said, I'm going to have this on the corner of my bar. Um, we have a video taste testing the moonshine itself. And I'll have the video up above that you can just click on and interview it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go out and buy another one. So we can do a taste test in six weeks. So we can taste what the raw moonshine and the aged one would taste like. Um, but it's, it seems like a pretty cool concept. Um, we'll find out what happens. Didn't you already try this with another bottle? I, it's been I, more than six weeks. I'm experimental. <laughs> I like to experiment with stuff. Um, we did one. And it's. Have I've you still, tasted it? I still have yet to taste it, 
But this is the uh, Stills Crossroads Alabama shine. Now, that was clear, and I put some oak rods in. Um, God, it was, I, I put a date on here. 2 16 19. So it's been over a year. It's been that long. Why don't you taste it? So we'll taste this one. This one I did just kind of on a spur of the moment. Um, but I, I made it myself too. But from clear to the whiskey color, because that's a nice amber color. Do you want me to get Alicia so that she. I don't want to get Alicia. I don't. <laughs> She no, got so that she can taste it without knowing what it is. So the the age of this the aging process ends around six weeks, and, and that's when you're going to get your most flavors. The longer you have it in there, it's still aging. Just not as much. So your your peak on it is about six weeks. Uh, so wait, are you saying in six weeks that's going to be the same color as that? That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, all you do is just... The way we did this one, I've done a lot of research uh, to find out cooking times, toasting times, charring times, how much you have to char to get a certain color, flavor, and profile. So, but this one we did, God, over, it's been over a year, way over a year. Um, but that was just clear moonshine. So let's find out. And then in six weeks, we'll taste that, but we'll check on it every week. Give it a smell. Yeah. Does it smell like whiskey? Yeah, the, the moonshine smell is totally gone on that one. I mean, it, it smells like a really tasty whiskey. A really strong one. What was the percentage on this? Okay, this is 50% alcohol by volume and, and 100 proof. But but look at that color. That's It's nice amber color, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm not a whiskey person, so. But Alicia's had whiskey before. That's why I'm like, you want me to get her so that you can kind of be like, oh, I tried this. Ooh, that's hot. You need an ice cube. <laughs> now this one, the way I charred these, this one picks up the caramels, a little vanilla, and a little cherry. Um, I wasn't too into how the process with the wood was at the time. But from the moonshine it used to be to the whiskey it is now, the whole point about moonshine and whiskey is touching wood. So once it touches wood, it's whiskey, but how good is your whiskey? That's what I've been experimenting with. So this one has a really good flavor. It's still hot as hell, but they it, moonshine was hot as hell in the beginning. And, and I, I have a taste test on this, but it's been a long time ago. Yeah, over a year. But it does taste like a good whiskey now. Do you want me to go get you a ice cube? I don't want an ice cube. What is it with you and ice cubes? I don't know. I was just tasting it. So that that was the, the Stills Crossroad Alabama shine. Um, so we're going to let this sit. Um, it's got what I think is going to be a good taste. So in six weeks, we'll pop this one open and find out. So what I'll do... I'll just set this on the corner of my bar. And then every week we'll just kind of look at it. Just doing its thing. It's aging right now as we speak. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but that's what we got today. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will find out every week the progress. Oh. And next week. Uh, what are we going to do next week? I got like. We went to the store and I. Don't. When the wife says go ahead and get something from the liquor store as she goes shopping at another store, it's all her fault what you bring home. That's all I gotta say. So we're gonna try next week, uh, Old Tub. <laughs> now this whiskey right here um, is from Jack Daniels' first mash 
how they used to do it. So that's new on the market. So we'll be trying that next Friday. And what else we got? We got some Wellers Special Reserve that we're gonna try. And this one is supposed to be a real hard one to get. The Mitzler's uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, small batch. And we'll be trying that in future videos. So yeah, we got a lot of tasty alcohol to try. And, ooh, and we got the Captain Morgan's Black for like some rum drink. Okay, well at least there's <laughs> something that I'll want in there. <laughs> something that you want. I'm in a bottle. <laughs> All right, like, share, subscribe. We will see you next Friday, and we will give you updates on our moonshine. Yeah, let us know what you think about... Bottle aging. If you have any suggestions, what you think, um, the ideas... What the hell was that? It's the dog. She's right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, because, yeah, it's something we're, we're trying, something we're new at. Well, we're not new. I've been experimenting forever, but... Uh, yeah, we want to start producing them. Have some fun with them. <laughs> All right. See you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>